Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of the RuneScape Market Watch. Today is Friday, so you know what that is. We are going to run through the Grand Exchange Rise and Falls and talk about any profitable moneymakers which we can find in the sort of Grand Exchange Rises. The big news in terms of this week is that it's double XP weekend starting on Friday. We've been having a lot of price rises based off that, and that's been the reason like a lot of stuff's been rising, especially like herbal supplies, skilling supplies, and other stuff like that. But it's finally this Friday, so hopefully we'll start to see a price shift and in terms of the next couple of weeks, I think it's going to be the shift towards necromancy supplies and also items which are brought in the game from necromancy. They're going to be sort of the stuff which will need to find its price, be up and down, and stuff which becomes useful and very much in demand will no doubt take over the price rises for the time being. Stuff which was hyped up and doesn't prove to be as useful will be and the price falls and necromancy will pretty much be controlling that for the next month, maybe a month and a half. But let's get cracking and work our way through the price rises. So the bone outfits, which is from the last wheels promo, that is going to end soon, so they will stop coming into the game. You might have a little bounce on some of the cosmetic stuff, but nothing too massive. The frames, which will be dotted throughout this, is still trying to find their price. However, because it's now a viable construction method, you'll see them, the high tier ones especially, sort of be dotted around. And if you're looking at training your construction this way, I am for bonus XP weekend, make sure to check your margins because they could be a big shift in price depending on when you look to buy them. People don't really make them, they should, because they're really good money, so to get yourself the best chance for a good deal, make sure to check margin, buy it at the lower end, and make sure to buy it over a period of time, rather than rush and buy it in a rush. So yeah, Magic and Acadia frames are at the top, and we've also got Elder frames and Maple frames here. Slayer World card is still here, and it will be for a little while, because these were trading for over 100k. However, these might start to take a hit soon, because the new promo, the Foresight training promo, the Slayer Wild cards are in as a much more visible reward. They are being seen a lot more. They are like common rewards, medium tier, rares, and super rares as well. So these will be coming into the game a lot more than they have been. And to be fair, it's been delayed and it should have been done a long time ago. Not only this was work for the wild cards, but also the artisanal gears are coming into the game as well. I think on the new account, I did my spins and I got a loot of 800 just because it was a multiplier and it was a medium sort of rare. Which is good though because Slayer cards definitely have a viability for collection loggers of the sort of like Slayer collection log and people who want to rush like 200 mil Slayer. But the price they were everyone weren't viable. They are going to be a luxury item and people will be spending money to get the XP at a serious rate. But I think they were even just a little bit expensive for that kind of tier of player. Potato Cactus, just under 6k, these are very expensive. If you are able to collect these daily, please do so from the desert. Um, if you are able to grow them um, or collect them from a boss, make sure to be doing that as well. If you need to get the Cavite Queen Pet, that could be an option, but I don't think it drops it too often anyway. However, with Keys are Crossing at 1 mil, just go and do Corrupted Creatures. Or the Soul Devourers as well. Keys of the Crossing being 1 mil is just mental um and with how easy they are to acquire definitely worth doing your corrupted and your soul devourers if you do have a bit of time before necromancy it might actually be worth force camping corrupted creatures and soul devs because the profit's going to be mental these are obviously like very hyped up for necromancy and it could be a big fail the reason like ed3 has been sort of nerfed is because of how overpowered it'll be to trade necromancy I wouldn't be surprised if the Magister is not as good as what people are thinking it's going to be, but that is just my opinion. Extreme Chef, Overload, Bonus XP Weekend, that is that. Um, the Wood Spirits will be dotted around as well. These are actually more useful than what people think they are. They are pretty decent for the use of woodcutting, and Elder Wood ones are probably the ones where it will bring the most high-valued log with it as well. Orc Bones, I made a video about this earlier in the week, very good. Um, makes Bandos actually decent money, so yeah, they've got a little bit more to go. I think they were selling for about 70 to 80k. One of the few bones now which haven't crashed for Necromancy, so that's not too bad. Summer Down Wool, I bought a couple of the wool ready for Necromancy. They were about 30 35k each, that is really expensive. So if you are one who does play your own farm a lot, definitely worth doing sheeps just for that. Ghost Essence at 5k. That's nice. If you do Slayer Test with Ghost Essence, it really does help to like rack up the profit you've made. Prayer Potions and Extreme Ranging is quite high. And Prayer Potions do make some decent money at the minute. I think they make something like 3k, which is nice. Elder Logs have finally started to bounce back. The Woodcutting push for everyone to get the Mkado Hatchets finished. So now we've sort of seen the bottom end of uh, Elder Logs and I do see them going up. The good thing is with Elder Logs as well is because of the Elder Frames, there's some viability in them and there's a reason for them to be a decent price and to go up 
So I do see them going up in the long term. Maybe not like mad quick, but I do see them going up long term. Papaya fruit, super energy. Super energies are very expensive. Aventos here, not expensive. So something would need to balance out the price for a super energy. So that would be papayas. Possibly a good time to do a fruit bat method to do for summoning. You'll make quite a bit of money because all forms of fruit is um, money now because they play around farms. Rune Dragon Bones, these really did hit like a low point, so these are bouncing just in preparation for Necromancy. I think a week or two ago when we started to see the Bones crash, I did say these would hit a point where they're relatively worthwhile buying. Stock up while they're cheap before the rise and the build up to Necromancy will make them higher. So more Stone Spirits, nothing too major. Rune Darts, simply for bonus XP weekend. Super Prayer Renewals have gone high because um, Prayer Potions have gone up. Renewals will go up. These always do go high around the bonus XP weekend, and I don't know why. I have a feeling that these will make profit making them, but that's something I'll have a look at the main account because the new account can't make them. But yeah, 51k, where the prayer potion, like free dose is 10k, even if you're looking at a renewal for like 30k, you've still got quite a lot of margin there because I do believe that that price will trade over 51k. Some more of the walls for Necromancy Super Range Potion as well. I think there's a bit of room to go on the bracket free. And um, the planks as well, linked to the frames. I'm surprised we've actually not seen as many planks. But they are there. Definitely something to make some money with as well. And just going through secondaries for Unicorn Horn, Super Strengths, because the extreme's high and it's bonus XP weekend. Primal Extract, because it's bonus XP weekend as well. Inferno Pyroglass link to Ultra Compass. Dragon King, Dinosaur Bones are now sort of starting to bounce back up and work their way up. Prayer Renewals linked to the Super Prayer Renewals, when that's probably why. It's so high because a full prayer renewal is 31k. Uh, and then looking from the bottom, we've got the U frames again, like the others, just trying to find its price. Anti fires, I'm surprised how like much profits are in anti fires, and not only that, how much profits in super anti fires. We've done a video on that this week, so that is pretty decent. But yeah, it's a bit more of a broader sort of range of items. They're all related to bonus XP weekend and necromancy still. And for for infry like items, which are still trying to like level out and find where they need to be in terms of price. But it's a more diverse range than what we've seen. A lot of stuff are going up like quite expensive as well. A lot of items going like 40% up, which is quite a shift and quite a change. But by doing this like over the every sort of week, we can pick out the trends and the changes and see where um, stuff is working. But it's nice to see that stuff we've said a couple of weeks ago, like the reinforced dragon bones, dragon kin, dinosaurs, say, look, these are just having their dip. They will work their way back up for necromancy. It's nice to see that uh, that's actually started to happen as well. I have now picked up all my necromancy supplies. Not gone too massive, spent the best part of like 300 mil. So it'll be good to have like a good start for necromancy anyway. So this is where I get sad. Anima are full, 12 GP each. I think I bought for 22, but that's not why I'm sad. But because the um, price of the God Arrows is now going through the floor. A when arrow at 2.5k just seems too cheap. Jazz Dragon Bane Arrows at 3.2k. These will be the more expensive because of how useful they are at Rune Dragons and Annie Dragons. But very, very cheap anyway. Soul Die price check, 331 mil. That seems to be stable-ish. I think that's dropped in more like for the drop in value over time, rather than like how brutal it has been. Grimwall Spikes have took a hit, quite a brutal hit as well. Um, these have been something which have been the price rises for a little while now, but we've dropped 15% in like a couple of days. So this is where they've peaked, and this is where they've worked their way down. A Grimwall Spy being 3k is too expensive. Um, and I think they'll level about just over 2k. That's a decent price for a bonus XP weekend anyway. Because the Dino Arrows up here are starting to crash because 5k was way too much. The propellant is on its way down and I'm sure the other pieces will be as well. The Subjugation pieces are starting to crash because people have stocked up and they've camped Zami before bonus XP weekend. Ready for Necromancy, cashing out now. And these are on the way down. So if you've not bought your Subjugation pieces, now is the best time to do it. Vital Sparks, um, I think these will take a big hit because people will be camping Keys of a Crossing. These are a, pro a, a thing like additional, um, especially if you use your Dungeoneering tokens to get the Enhancers. Vital Sparks are coming in at a quick rate. Because of the sheer amount coming in, they will crash. Dragomatic on its way down. It really did sort of have a nice run, but now it's just starting to tail off. Teak Frames, because it was not a new one, that's on its way down. Its demand has got significantly less because now there are better and more rounded frames for, for people to use. So definitely that's why that's gone down. Uh, cannonball going down to 728. That could be a good pickup if you use a cannon a lot. They are very sort of up and down. It's nice that we're not buying uh, cannonballs for 1.5k again. So if you need them, definitely pick some of them up. Hex onto bow down a little bit. 
very niche but if you are looking for one it could be a good time to pick one up gold bars you know i'm always one to keep an eye on gold bar prices 1.6k not too bad it's definitely been over to 2k for uh before compared to when we were here 2.5k gold bars aren't too bad still think there's a little bit more for them to drop and i'll definitely be picking up some on the new account because of my way of afk -ing. and also as you can see here the bond is down 62 mil I recently bought one on, on the seven day bond account, so we've got to save some money there. But I think we bought it for 65, so we we're sort of midway, so that's not too bad. But yeah, that's the price falls, nothing too major. I think what we're seeing here are items which were too expensive anyway. Like the oak plank was too expensive, the dino arrows were too expensive. I'm a bit annoyed about the god arrows, but it is what it is. I mean, the oak planks have took an absolute killing. If you have a look here a couple of weeks ago, well, pretty much a month ago. They were 2.5k and now they're 800 so they've really sort of took a hit and finally we'll just have a quick look through the most valuable trades black santa 22 bill took a bill off the value that's a rip and going down here we start to see a little bit the wonder appraisal down 70 mil the dark shard of leng down 60 mil just a little knocks on like some of the combat stuff the seismic ones back up 50 mil and some other stuff here but again the main stuff, not really what we're interested in. like here, nothing really shifts now. Um, so PVM gear, these are the kind of items I would buy and not sell. Whereas the price rises, there's way more potential to like buy and invest in skill supplies. In my opinion, I think the high tier items, once you're in, you're in and you understand the prices. But I think with the price rises and price falls, those items you can just jump in and flip at any given time as well. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this week. Obviously it's bonus XP weekend. Hope it all goes very well for you. Hope you guys have got a plan. Make sure when you log in, you're doing something, you've got a plan, and you're utilizing time as best you can. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please like, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next week for next week's Market Watch on this channel.